So I got a package from Cosman in Delaware the other day, and I wanted to thank him for that. Uh, I don't think I've ever really personally known anybody from Delaware before, so that was that was kind of interesting to get something. I think that the, to me, the most mysterious state in America, <laughs> North Dakota, is the most mysterious state. I don't think I've ever personally met anybody who's either been to North Dakota, is from North Dakota. I bet you most people can't name the capital of North Dakota. That's uh, just my guess. I don't know. <laughs> it just seems mysterious, North Dakota. Most mysterious state in America. And of course, we're all hoping that someday they will settle their differences with South Dakota and reunite. <laughs> And I also want to thank Stan Peters in Connecticut, who sent me a package recently, and I've been meaning to thank him for that, too. Uh, in Connecticut, yeah, you're, you're like close to Delaware, right? So maybe you and Cosman can get together for tea. <laughs> and if you haven't already done so, or if you're watching this video on my website, it doesn't really apply to you, but if you're not watching it on my website, uh, check out today's, uh, my blog entry today, and it has some pictures of some planter boxes that people have sent me uh, because they were kind of inspired by my, my goofy planter box <laughs> that I made last week. But I, I really like it when people uh, send me pictures of projects they've made just because they were, you know, kind of inspired by something I've made. That is, to me, that's really special. But one thing that was funny about that video about the planter box was that I got a few emails from, uh, I guess I would call them you know, woodworking purists <laughs> who kind of took exception uh, to the fact that I didn't put any kind of, you know, wood sealer or protectant of, of any sort on that planter box. And like, guys, I'm well aware that products exist uh, <laughs> to protect wood, but the point of that was just, I just kind of wanted to experiment with this and see how long it would last and that I could make this really inexpensively and just, build a new one if it rots. So that was the point of that. Uh, <laughs> woodworkers can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> Not you, no, other woodworkers, just annoying. <laughs> and this is my project for tomorrow's video. Yeah, it's just a, uh, a pair of sawhorses. Uh, you know, it's a useful thing to have and uh, everybody seems to have their own method of building <laughs> sawhorses. Uh, from the really cheapy ones to the really kind of fancy ones, and these are sort of in between. They're pretty sturdy, but they're really easy to make. So you'll see that tomorrow. And, uh, and if you're on Facebook, you can see a picture of me planking on those. Planking. <laughs> I can't believe I hadn't done any planking before, considering this is a woodworking show. <laughs> and somehow that just eluded me. I don't know why because I've been seeing so many people planking. Besides, I think planking is kind of, I think it's almost over. I think I'm just kind of a little bit too late on the planking. Have you seen coning? Coning. <laughs> Check out coning. Not coney, coning. Okay, for those interested, here's my tomato update. Uh, strange, we had rain last night. I kind of thought we were pretty much done with rain, but anyways, they are all doing really, really well, except for this poor little guy right there, I, yeah, it's not looking good for him. I think he's, <laughs> I think he's a goner. But I'll give him a couple more days, see if he comes back out of there. But we did plant some other ones from seed. I've never planted them from seed before, so we've got a bunch of little bitty ones growing. So if one of those comes, I'll just put it in there. I also mentioned this on my website uh, last week, I think it was, about Roku. If you guys have Roku, you can watch my videos on TV. It's pretty cool. I love my Roku box. You guys familiar with this? It's just this little bitty box and it, it lets you get internet, you know, streaming TV and movies, uh, you know, on your TV. So I, there's a lot of people who are just completely cutting the cord, they call it, from they just getting rid of their cable and satellite all together and just doing the internet streaming, which is really cool. And I think I would... I could almost do that, except I can't get local programming. And the reason I need local programming is for uh, live events. And, you know, I can't watch American Idol either. You can't get that streaming. And so I, I would want to see American Idol and then, like, football games, you know, I, I would want to see those live. And I know you can get, like, a, uh, uh, an over-the-air digital antenna, except where I live right facing south, which is our stations would come from San Francisco. I've got this huge mountain right here, and so I've checked it out, and we can't get any over-the-air reception, so I think I'm stuck with, well, we've got satellite for 
for most of that. But I would really like to just cut the, the cord, <laughs> so to speak, because I like television. I know there's a lot of people who just, who, who always, they think it's cool to say, oh, I don't watch any TV at all. <laughs> and, then you, and then you get the people who say, oh, well, I rarely watch TV, but if I do, I watch PBS. <laughs> it makes them sound so snooty or something, but no, I like TV. There's a lot of good programming on TV. Uh, let's see, uh, some of the shows though have jumped the shark. Glee totally jumped the shark. I do not watch that show anymore. <laughs> it went and it was gone. Uh, one of the shows I really like now as far as comedies is Raising Hope. If you haven't seen Raising Hope, that show really cracks me up a lot. And I kind of watch New Girl. It's kind of cute, you know. Uh, and then the reality shows American Idol. Yeah. <laughs> I love American Idol. And then, you know, this summer, all, Hell's Kitchen coming back. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I guess I like a really trashy television. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, you can watch uh, Woodworking for Mere Mortals now <laughs> on, uh, I guess I get it through Blip. I upload it to Blip TV and so that you can watch on Roku. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later.